No. No. We can hear you. Oh, there you are. Hey. Hey. We can fix anything. That's right. We can fix anything. <laughs> All right, we'll stand by just a couple more minutes. I know there, okay. there are a couple others that have had some uh, technical difficulties, and we'll work through all of them. Okay. Yeah, I had some issues at first with my la or my iPad, so I just joined via phone. So ignore my email. <laughs> okay, I, I you know I decided this fall I'm going to ignore all the emails anyway, so doesn't matter. Uh, Don't tell you. me that. Thank you for the courtesy laugh. I know that was just a, a little courtesy laugh. No, I'm not going to ignore any of the emails. But um, I know I already uh, took assessment or whatever it is. <laughs> uh, there's going to be um, so uh, Kathy. This you know online class is going to is new. Is right. going to be a new adventure. This is going to be different than doing. Uh, Food service sanitation. Everybody does food service sanitation online. Um, this is a little bit different. Uh, San can uh, can attest to um, what this is going to feel like and sound like and smell like. And uh, San, I might pick on you a little bit um, before we're done this evening, but maybe not. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Okay. All right. Well, um, I've got 5.30 straight up, so we're not going to yeah. stall. We're not going to okay. stall anymore, I believe. And uh, do, I'll do my best to uh, make sure we start class on time or ride as close to it as we can so uh, we maximize the time and get done, um, you know, whatever we need to get done. Um, tonight can be uh, uh, maybe – we don't have much to go over. I'm going to open up Blackboard, and uh, we'll look at a little bit of Blackboard. Uh, you're all familiar with it. Um, I'll open up the syllabus so we can all kind of walk through. We can walk through the syllabus a little bit. Um, I know today. Today is the first day. Uh, how many of you have um, at least gone in to Blackboard? Maybe you. have You've seen the syllabus, you know, um, well, good. If you've already seen it, then then great. I think we'll take a little dance through it anyway, um, even if you've printed it and you've looked over it. Um, uh, very familiar, very similar to uh, previous uh, semester or semesters, as the case may be for one or two of your classmates. Um, the first thing I'll mention um, when we do when we do this Zoom, um, I I would really like to see you. And so, um, Jasmine, for example, wherever you are, if you can turn your camera on, that'd be really awesome. But um, we can leave all of our microphones muted so we don't get background noise and stuff like that until. Um, I might ask a question or you have something you want to share or you something that you need to say or a question to ask, then unmute and, uh, and ask away. You can just butt right on in to whatever we're saying, and that's, uh, that's all perfectly fine. Um, so do you have any questions about what you've already seen in the syllabus or – uh, anything about the semester as we get started this semester? Anything pressing at the moment? Un unmute, un uh, unmute your microphone, Kathy. Go ahead, ask away. Okay. So, um, so since this is online, so when will like the ingredients and stuff be ready to go pick up from the school? We're going to get to that. Uh, okay. Before we get done today, um, we're, we're going to we're going to get to that. Your uh, your lab fees uh, provide you with the product. Um, unfortunately, the one step that we don't have is a, a contract with HelloFresh or you know something like that. So 
we, we can't mail it. We can't ship it to you. Um, and so you, you got to come to the culinary school to, to pick it up, but, um, we'll talk about all of that just, a just a bit. Um, so let me, uh, Christy's coming on here as well. Hey, Christy, welcome. Terrence Hi. has made it. Hey, I think this is the full load. This is the full class. Welcome aboard. Thank you. If y'all wouldn't mind, especially since this is a smaller class, um, go ahead and turn your cameras on, but keep your microphone muted um, until we have discussion. There's Terrence. Terrence, I got something to tell you. I got something to tell you. Now, listen. Listen to Chef. Chef is wise. Listen to Chef. I used to have hair that looked a little bit like yours. So, so Terrence, you're the before picture. And this, see, it even shines in the lights and stuff in here. This is the after picture. I'm telling you, if you, you know, pay too much attention to all of this, it's, this is what's going to happen right here. All right, I'm going to share my screen and open up Blackboard, all right? So everybody stand by for a minute. All right. You should see, uh, is it there yet? You see, you see my screen? Um, just as a review, for those of you that haven't uh, gotten into Blackboard yet, when you get into Blackboard, um, once you log in, you're going to see uh, something that looks similar to this. This is the instructor view, and you can see the courses that I teach. You would see the courses that you're in. And so we're going to open up this course. This is food two, right? Online food two. Blah, blah, blah. On the beginning, start here page, uh, you've got the whole syllabus. Uh, please, you, whether you print it or not is up to you, uh, but take a look at it, Get, be familiar with it. I would encourage you to do that before you go to the course agreement form, which is right here. Can you see my cursor? I don't know if you see, you see my cursor? Sand's giving me the affirmative. Um, there are six little questions. It's the same thing that you see on the very last page of the syllabus if you printed it out. Um, and you automatically get your first really super easy six points. So it's, it's graded, but this should be the same case for every single class that you're in um, anywhere in the university. Um, the course schedule is exactly that. It's the course schedule. And it's uh, about a three page section uh, from the middle of the syllabus. But if you want to know uh, what cooking methods are coming up, if you want to know what the menu looks like for next week or the week after, um, that's, that's where you can look at it really quick at a glance. Uh, you shouldn't, you, you, can, you can email me, you can text me, you can ask me anything, but. Um, there, there's really not a need for, you can see it all here. You shouldn't have to ask me, hey, chef, what are we doing next week? Uh, my response might be, hey, look at the syllabus, because I don't know off the top of my head. I'm teaching six classes this semester, so I don't keep any class exactly straight. As straight as I should or whatever. So the syllabus should be opening. And it is not opening. I hope you have better success with this than I am having. All right. So you're going to see more than you wanted to see, probably. Um, isn't that a nice looking steak right there? 
do you see my background? Do you see all these files open and everything? Can 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 you see this uh, fillet? You don't you don't see any of that? Oh, I know what I need to do. Stand by just a minute. Because I need to open up. this okay we're going to do that and then we're going to do this again how's that we're seeing the syllabus now all right so um, first thing to point out, uh, these office hours are going to change over the next couple of days. Just uh, other assignments and committee things uh, here at the university. And uh, by, the, by this weekend, um, this will be more, more current. Um, even outside of these hours, uh, a couple of you have taken advantage of this in the past you can always um, arrange a, a time with me. We can meet one-on-one -on -one, uh, via Zoom. Um, these are the hours that I will be here um, in my office. I'm in my office right now. And so these are the hours that I will be here in my office. Um, this time on Monday between 1.30 and 2.30, um, we're in our staff meeting. And so I'm here in the building, but uh, won't be. If we need to visit or chat or, or there's some urgent uh, issue, we can still meet in the middle of that time as well, um, if, if need be. I want to be as available as possible for you uh, to help you be successful. Um, here's the kind of the chain of command. So if you have a problem with me, the very first person you need to go to is me. I got promoted over the summer and uh, I'm, the, I'm the lead culinary instructor. So that's why that's why I appear right there. So a little bit facetious for me to say, if you have a problem with me, you come to me. Um, my immediate supervisor is some of you have, have had her already. You, you know, Chef Jan Lewandowski. Um, she was the lead baking and pastry instructor. She's now the program director of the culinary school. Um, she's my immediate supervisor. And so if, if I have said something that is offensive, if I have done something that is offensive, um, that is inappropriate, or you, you just have a problem that um, you're not comfortable coming to me, or you've tried to address with me and you're not satisfied with the, with the results, then uh, Chef Lewandowski is, is my supervisor, as well as um, I think everybody knows Miss Renee. Um, I think almost everyone in the culinary school has had at least some contact with Miss Renee. She's the associate dean now. And so um, again, if, if you have an issue with me, go to Jan or go to Renee and uh, uh, either one of them, I promise you, will set things straight. Um, you've made it this far. That means you don't have to buy another textbook. You don't have to buy a knife kit. You should all be straight with your uniform. We're going to talk about uniform in a minute and what that means for us in this online environment. Okay, so if you have that on your list of questions, uh, stand by. We're going to get to that in, in a minute. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go past this long list of learning objectives and basically put all of these in one main category. The, the, the main purpose of food production two is cooking method, learning cooking methods, uh, methods for starch, methods for vegetables, 
our main focus is going to be proteins and um, we build menus around those proteins and the cooking methods of the week. Um, all of this other stuff are, are things that you're, uh, you're already familiar with from uh, classes in the past. Um, a lot of these uh, here, the COVID-19 and measures to manage risk don't directly apply because you're not, this is not an in-person class. These apply to any in-person classes you may be, you may be taking. These issues do apply when you come to the culinary school to pick up your product. Okay, I'm gonna get, uh, like I said, I'll get to uniform in a, in a minute, but just while we're here on this, the COVID-19 thing, um, obviously if you have symptoms, um, if you need to get product, send someone else, neighbor, a family member that's not living with you in your house. If you're symptomatic, you know, uh, we've gone through this for a year. Be, be vigilant um, but, and be smart. Um, and if heaven forbid you get sick, uh, the first thing to do is, is communicate. Communicate with me. I will send you a, a, a specific link. Um, I'll also send you or, or copy any responses to, if, if you've got pen and paper and you want to jot this down, Miss uh, Michelle Anderson is the Dean of Students at the university. And she is the one, the only one as a student, all your COVID-19 issues go through her. And so if you just email me and tell me you're sick, I'm going to send you to Michelle. And if you never follow up, if you never send your, uh, your COVID testing results and, and things like that, then um, you don't get any COVID-19 relief as a student. Does that make sense? It's up to um, it's up to instructors. My my general thing is is no different than if you were an in person class and you got sick, you had the flu or something like that. We send you home um, for medical reasons. I would exempt you from the lab, so there wouldn't be points. It wouldn't hurt you. Would doesn't help you. Um, I don't give you points. I just exempt that grade. Um, that may or may not be the case as we go throughout the semester. Um, as you hear on the news, this is an ever evolving situation for one or two of you. Maybe that's why you took this class online just to keep, uh, keep you protected and keep you distant from everyone else. Maybe you're, maybe you took this class because it's convenient. Um, uh, whatever. When you do come to the school to get your product, you'll need to be in uniform. You should be. And um, you can't be indoors in any building on campus, any of the campuses, without a mask. Are there any questions about that? Sam? What up? So, I... When I picked up my product, I was never in uniform because I was working during the day and I, I was able to pick up my product. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna tell you. And I'm telling this to everybody. So everybody gets the same message. You're gonna see on the uniform policy, uh, it's changed a little bit. Uh, we're, we're a little bit more, more stern about things. The general rule is if you're going to visit campus for any reason, what's written down is uh, be in uniform. Now, since it's just between us and we're all friends, uh, reality is uh, nobody's really policing that 
And especially if you just pull up by the back dock to come in that back door that goes right into uh, product ID or, or that lab where you pick up your product, um, as long as you have a mask on, um, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't matter. Uh, from time to time, one or two of you may send a child, may send a, a sibling, may send a parent to come pick up your product. So they don't have they don't have uniforms. They won't be in uniforms. Um, the enforceable policy is when you are here for student work, when you when you are here for um, you're going to be involved in an event. Um, you uh, you're here for a meeting. You're here for an interview. You're here. Um, Technically, you're, you're here for advising and things like that. We should be all in uniform. Um, and if you're just coming from work, then, uh, you know, it, it is what it is. So come for now, at least be in a mask. And clothes. Some kind of clothes. I, I saw Terrence with a little smile on his face. I, I think he that was another courtesy laugh. I appreciate the the courtesy last that keeps me going. Uh, respect each other, shouldn't have to say that, but uh, um, in this class, this semester, um, you will be reviewing and giving feedback to each other. In addition to me giving feedback to you, I'll explain that in a minute, but I, um, I expect us all to behave professionally. And so the, the, days of, uh, uh, the days of acting like a Gordon Ramsay in the kitchen. Back with you stupid fat cow, get out of my kitchen and all that kind of ranting and raving and stuff like that. You will be, you will be peer reviewing uh, your classmates' plate presentations. Um, we'll start that about week three or week four, and we'll do that all the way to the end of the semester, every week. And and so um, uh, respect each other. Um, I, I expect um, respect, if that makes sense. Should make sense. Like very first under student behavior, treat each other with respect. Um, for this class, being prepared for class uh, largely means you completed the previous week's lab and, and other work, but your completing the lab allows the whole rest of the class to move forward and be successful, okay? So uh, for the good of everyone, if you're going to be late on anything, uh, be late on a quiz, be late on your key terms, be on time with your lab work. Um, I'll have your, your lab work it will be due by 1159 every Sunday night. So, you know, if we'll talk about a, we'll talk about a weekly schedule here in a minute. Um, being prepared for class is going to mean having your lab done by Sunday night. During my office hours on Monday, I'm going to pull some of the pictures that you are you are posting and um, plug that into a weekly PowerPoint, and we spend some time uh, reviewing each other um, without identifying the plate that belongs to who. So we have a small class, it's U5. This is the whole class, um, unless we get another couple of people that add on. And so with just five, we'll probably only be looking at two plates a week. Um, I don't know who those two plates are, you won't, unless it's your plate. Um, and there, there's reasons for that, we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, 
this uh, this class is around 2,200 points. 10% uh, of your grade is a uh, final portfolio. Uh, that's actually 220 points. That should be 220. Um, I'll get to the portfolio in a minute. That's uh, that's something that you will you will upload in Blackboard uh, the same week of the final practical exam. Um, and so that's the next to the last week of the semester. Um, as with food one that everyone else has already experienced, uh, this is this is a very simple class if you keep up with everything week to week. This is not nearly as labor intensive a class as food one was. Uh, Terrence, you like that? The key terms aren't uh, aren't quite as aren't quite as vast, but I mean you're all familiar with that. The online quizzes, I've taken timers off and all of that. Um, they're open book, single. You get one shot. Um, and however long it takes you to do it, it'll take you to do it. Now, if you open it up, open up a quiz and answer a question or two and then go off and watch TV and then go shopping and then go to the movies and come back at the end of the day to finish. Um, if there's been no activity, um, I don't know what the length of time is, um, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. You, you will reach a certain period of time where Blackboard will time out or the quiz will time out and it auto submits. Um, that happens. Sorry. If you run into technical issues, um, Sam, I think you can speak to this more than anybody else in the class. It may take some time, but we, we can figure anything out. I may not have the answer and we may have to be directed to someone else at the university, but even if uh, you have a technology issue, uh, in my house where I live in Moralton, I can be online. Y'all know I'm a student also, I'm out of University of Illinois. Um, I could be online at home in class and uh, satellite signal goes down. Uh, the Zoom goes down. I just lose signal. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, we can fix anything that we communicate about. If you never say anything, I can never fix anything. And so grades stay as grades are. Don't come back two weeks from now and say, oh, yeah, chef, I had a storm two weeks ago, and that's why I didn't finish the thing. Can you? Can you fix that? Well, no, if you really cared about it, you would have. Hey, chef, my power just went out. I, I was in the middle of a quiz. What what shall I do? And, uh, you know, I'll probably tell you I'll clear the quiz so you can take it again when your power's back on and do it again tomorrow. Um, don't wait for two or three weeks for an issue to be long past because I will consider it long past. Um, good ideas to maybe implement some of these kitchen rules, even though you'll be working in your kitchen at home. Um, the way I work when I'm cooking at home and the way I work in the kitchen here and the way I work in kitchens and restaurants, uh, it's all the same. It, it has become how I behave in the kitchen. And so these principles that we learn can actually make you more efficient cooking at home for your family or, or the church group or uh, your friends and neighbors. Uh, our lab rubric that you're all familiar with, you can come back to, all right, let's talk about the semester, okay? Um, today, Will, we're not actually walking through the kitchen. Uh, you can take 10 minutes and walk through your own kitchen, and there's your kitchen tour uh, for, 
food production to online. Um, I think the layout is pretty similar to what you're already familiar with, at least from me and my classes, uh, the dates for the particular week. This lecture material is a little bit of what we will cover in Zoom each week, very little bit. But um, the, the things that are also in Blackboard during that week, um, there may be a little video to see that there's not a whole lot of those, not like in Food One where I gave you uh, 532 food safety videos and the E. coli and all of these people that nearly died and then watch all of that stuff and then write an essay. Um, there's actually very, very little of that this semester. Um, there are some videos to watch um, that really falls under the lab and demonstration sections because the instructions on how to sear, how to saute, how to boil pasta, um, how we do, what it means to sous vide. Um, Y'all probably just heard my phone. They'll go away. Um, those how-to things are, are in Blackboard. That's the majority of the stuff that I have you watch and, and see. Um, one thing to point out, I won't go back to it, the intention, uh, and I may add a few during the semester, but right now there is only one uh, Yes Chef, the Yes Chef little videos, and it's this week, it's in week one. There are two videos, one little essay uh, to watch. Um, both of those are, um, I think, pretty inspiring. Uh, you hear from Renee, um, you hear from uh, Robert Irvine uh, from Food Network, um, who gave a message to students at the opening of, of this school when it was built. And then you hear from a student that um, struggled, doubted, and made a few decisions to push through, persevere, and, uh, and rise above. And she did, she's very successful today. And so uh, that, that bears a little, a little watch and a look-see. Um, in my opinion, this course is not as, as difficult as in labor intensive as Food One. But there's going to be, I don't, I don't understand this, or I don't, I don't get why this, and I don't know what the case would be. We're all different, whether in this class or another. Um, you, you can do this. You can do this. Have any of y'all seen the movie Rudy? I don't think it's a Walt Disney movie, but uh, it, it might be Walt Disney. It's uh, Daniel, Rudy Rudiger, um, was too, too small, really, to play um, NCAA football, certainly at the caliber of Notre Dame. And anyway, he walks on at Notre Dame. Um, if you've seen that movie, do any of y'all have uh, Netflix or Amazon Prime? I saw this just this morning on Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, look for... Um, the name of the, of the film, it's a documentary, and it stars him. Look up Rudy Rudiger, The Walk-On. And if you want a little inspiration because things are, things are hard, that is a beautiful uh, one hour and 38 minutes or so. That is a beautiful one hour and 38 minutes to spend in getting a little bit of motivation and getting a little bit of encouragement. Here is a guy that when he went through grade school, he was told, no, you're dumb, you're too short, you can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it, you're not good enough, you can't do it. And he really kind of believed it. 
And the Rudy Rudiger, the walk-on, is the true story of Rudy, Daniel Rudy Rudiger. And um, he tells it himself. And um, I thought, anyway, it was quite powerful as, uh, as he talks about, you know, uh, well, the reason he had trouble in grade school because he was dyslexic in a time that they didn't have the word and he was just constantly told, you're dumb, you're not smart enough, you can't do blah, blah, blah. And in spite of a disability like that, a learning disability, um, he didn't have the grades in public school. He went to Holy Cross, a community college, to get his grades up to go to university. His first experience in his first semester in that community college, he failed his first four tests. And he went to his advisor and he said, maybe all those people were right. I can't do this. And I, I won't give it all away, but that advisor had a conversation with him and gave him, him some advice that changed his life. It's, it's worth seeing. Um, and maybe writing that down and keeping it in your, keeping it in the back of your mind until a hard time comes this semester, next semester, just sometime in life. Um, I, I really, I really like uh, things like that. Oh, one change in this uh, week seven, October 4th through October 10th. Um, we're actually, uh, um, I, uh, I posted the wrong version. We are not going to do this make it healthy um, exercise because you're already you're already doing that in healthy foods and nutrition um, so that we don't double up. I want to get at least one more cooking method in that we use a lot, especially in the South. So uh, we're going to do some smoking. Uh, we're we're going to smoke this week. So stand by for a couple of days and uh, this will be updated um, with the new course schedule. Everything else is going to be the same. Um, yes. Stu is actually going to be uh, Stu and Bray's week. Recovery, both of those. They're the same, but they're different. Um, I'm going to introduce you all to some Brazilian food. So on that week, we're going to have some Brazilian food and we're going to have some French food. Little uh, little international cuisine. Oh, no, we have braised down here. Uh, we might leave it like it is. Just remember, this, uh, this schedule is a guide for the semester. The instructor reserves the right to amend the schedule as necessary. So... I won't do that last minute, just, just so you know. I won't spring surprises on anybody, except for the final practical. It won't be a surprise either. In fact, I could tell you what the final practical is gonna be already. You are going to grill a ribeye steak, medium rare. You are going to sear a filet, medium rare. You are gonna poach salmon filet. And then you're going to take one of those three proteins. You're going to choose this uh, ahead of time. So you time it all right. One of those proteins will become a full entree, protein, sauce, starch, vegetable. And so you're going to prepare that starch, that vegetable, that sauce, and present a full entree plate. Sauce, vegetable, starch, and one of those three proteins. That's the final practical thing. Now you know. Uh, we took the page away with this new syllabus. Uh, this is a new syllabus template about the portfolio. It is uh, the portfolio assignment is in Blackboard. 
the module, the, the week is not open yet. Um, I'll get in and open that up so you could go ahead and see in advance. But basically, out of 12 actual lab weeks where you're cooking, we don't cook today and we don't cook week 14 or 15. Well, you do for 14, but that, that leaves you with 12 um, lab weeks where we sear, where we braise, where we smoke where we grill, uh, poach, blah, blah, blah. Um, I think I'm after uh, 10, 10 weeks for full credit. You'll have a title page, you'll have a table of contents, and then you will present uh, 10 of these uh, possible 12 labs of your choosing a picture, and I don't tell you what the picture has to be. Your final plate presentation, uh, maybe your picture is gonna be a disaster. You tried something, you burned it up. Um, this, is, this is a class and this is the place and the time to jack it up if you're gonna jack it up, okay? When, when, when I get back into actually how you're evaluated and graded every week, I think that will make sense. But especially in your portfolio, I'm not looking for your very best work. I'm looking for what you learned, what you'll take away, what was a memorable experience. Um, in a shortened version out of the 12 labs, I want 10, a picture, and a little paragraph about a takeaway, a new experience, a new taste. I've never tried this before. I did something that I've never done and I completely destroyed it, but I learned blah, blah, blah. And then the final section of your portfolio will be a two page, kind of a summation of the same thing. The whole course, food two, um, how you have changed as a culinarian. Um, your culinary point of view has evolved or changed or uh, what you're going to take away from the semester. That two-page summation, I am not looking for a stroke of my ego. I'm not looking for, um, I'm not looking for an instructor evaluation. And if you never mention me, that's not what this is for. Oh, Chef Paul was fun and he was great and all of that. Save that for the course evaluation that the, the, the school sends you. Just remember that and, and save those comments for them. This is going to be um, what was meaningful to me out of this class. And I don't give you really any other direction than that. Because maybe for you, what was meaningful is something um, at, a, at a very deep and emotional level. For some of you, uh, you'll be able to express yourself by, I never braised before. Um, I never sous vide before. And I am i don't have sous vide at home, but I'm glad that Chef taught me the poor man method of sous vide that I can do at home in a water bath and a crock pot. Um, I, I learned these things and these things, and I took this away. I tried this, and I learned I really don't like it. I want the good and the bad, and I, I'm going to want the everything. We'll cover this some more as we go throughout the semester. Okay, where where food one was your opportunity to make an oral presentation. Food two is going to be, especially your portfolio, is going to be a little more about your written um, expression. Um, and so you won't have oral presentations to make. You won't be recording yourself in Zoom or teaching a principal or anything like that. So hooray for that. Thanks. Christy's thumbs up. Um, uniform. Um, hat, chef coat, pants, non-slip shoes. 
listen. You're at home. This is an online class. One 10 point grade each week is you holding and presenting your final plate presentation. Um, online food one, Terrence, Jasmine, Christy. So Kathy, you're the only one that didn't do food one online in this group. And so the other four are very familiar with the assignment, make your cuts, show your cuts while you are in uniform. That is one of five grades that I'll be collecting each week. Your lab grade comes from five smaller grades, okay? You in uniform is one of those. Now, do I expect you to cook your meal at home, in your kitchen, in uniform? Um, I weren't born yesterday. And so if you're in your pajamas, if you're in your house coat and slippers, I don't know. And um, y'all don't repeat that I really said this. I, I, I don't care. What I do care about is when you see the assignment to present something in uniform, you are in full and proper uniform, okay? So hat, chef coat, black pants. I don't, uh, if you're in shoes or not, if your feet are in the shot, you need to be in your kitchen non-slip shoes. If you're, if you're taking a picture from the knees up or the waist up or whatever, then whatever is visible in the camera needs to be in proper uniform. I will not see any other image. Uh, you won't be shooting video with the exception of maybe one or two assignments as part of the knife skills test. You have three knife skills tests in the semester. And just like food one, um, I may ask for a video of your dice onion, a picture of your Brunoise bell pepper. Just follow those directions, okay? Um, beyond that, you're, you're at home. One of the reasons people choose online learning and online education is for convenience. Time convenience, location convenience, and um, if you want to run around your house in your whitey tidies and um, that's what you want to cook in, knock yourself out. You better be in uniform when you shoot your picture, though, because um, I don't. That, that's all I got to say about that. Okay. Um, what knives you use. Um, okay, uh, beard guard, facial, uh, facial hair, beard guard. Um, not that I intentionally make a, a gender statement, but uh, Terrence, this, uh, this is directed more at you, you and me. Um, fortunately, online, um, again, if you're cooking at home and you're, if you have your hair new like mine, and it is just flowing loosely um, and blowing in the wind as mine does, then uh, whatever hair falls on your food in your house, that's between you and whoever you're cooking for at your house, okay? Um, if you wanna cover uh, facial hair, uh, cover your facial hair. Know that this is the policy though, and when you do have to take classes in person, here at the school, um, it's got to go, or uh, you'll have to, to wear a beard guard. We provide those, okay? Um, all hair needs to be tied back and restrained, covered. And so if that big hair, that might mean uh, a hairnet or a couple of hairnets and a hat. At home, uh, doesn't matter. 
Um, when you have to take a picture with your uniform, I want to see hat. Um, if your hair flows out a, a little bit, uh, that that's okay. The American Culinary Federation doesn't see these pictures and, and all of that. I would suggest, I do want you to be in this practice though. If you have long fingernails, uh, trim them back a little bit. You know, um, I to some, I, I don't chew my, my nails, but starting when I was probably uh, second or third grade, uh, it's a long story I won't get into, but I wanted to be a surgeon and I've had, you know, I clip my fingernails all the way down to the quick and I, I have uh, ever since I was probably fourth or fifth grade. Uh, what is that? 10, 11 years old. And so um, I, I, I don't expect, uh, I don't expect your nails to be that short, but when you're typing on your computer, if it's more fingernail than fingertips, your nails are too long for food service. If you have acrylic nails, fake nails, press on nails, bye bye. They have to come off. That's food safety. Those things can fall off in food. And depending on where you might work, that stuff falling off in a 60, 80 gallon vat of mashed potatoes, you're going to upset a GM. You're going to upset a chef when you announce that uh, we've got to throw away 80 gallons of mashed potatoes and start all over again because I uh, can't find my fingernail. Can't find my earring. Um, we, this is an area where we're, we're going to tighten up just a little bit at the culinary school. No visible piercings. Nose rings, the little studs, face rings, uh, lip rings, ear rings, um, all gone, all removed. If they cannot be removed, um, then they need to be covered up with a Band-Aid, um, something like that. They need to be covered. And this is standard in our industry. You leave culinary school and you go out to work. Some places won't hire you with visible piercing. Um, now they're not going to say that, um, but they just won't. And so uh, be, be mindful of that um, and cover those things up. Rings, gone. Plain band. While you're cooking, plain band. If you have an engagement ring with your wedding ring, the engagement ring should come off. If you have a wedding ring that has studs in it, raised or embedded, that ring needs to, needs to come off. Um, while you're cooking. Now, I, uh, I'm happily married. This year is going to be 29 years in December. Right up in the middle of finals week will be my 20, 29th um, anniversary. Thank you, Christy. Um, but, and you don't see that uh, I, I don't wear a wedding ring. Uh, my wife trusts me. Um, I'm fat, ugly, bald, and uh, I've got a chef's attitude. So I'm kind of a prick and a punk sometimes. So that's not very attractive anyway. So my wife doesn't have anything to worry about. But in my very first job, I found um, I got an infection. I didn't have a sore. I didn't have a, a, a cut or anything, but not the best hand washing practice. And day after day of cutting produce and uh, breaking down chicken, lots of chicken, trimming lots and lots of beef tenderloin. Um, and, you know, wash your hands really fast, dry them on a dirty towel and, and keep, keep working. I had enough stuff accumulate under my ring. My second or third year working there, um, just one day it started burning, started itching and burning. I thought maybe I got into poison ivy or something that I'm not allergic to. And I pulled that ring off and I took a layer of skin off with it. 
and uh, I've not put I've not put my wedding ring back on. My wife has it in her jewelry box. Besides that, I have three diamond studs. Studs. They're. I was a poor music student when my wife and I got married. They're more like a little grain of sand. There's three of those in there, but there are three stones. And by this policy, by SurSafe, uh, that that is not an allowed ring anyway. Even though it's my wedding ring, it's not a plain band. It has it has studs in it. Um, how much cologne you use, you're at home. I don't care. Um, be as excessive as you want to be, or uh, be all natural if you want to be. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. Um, this next one, your outerwear, um, this deals more with uh, meat and seafood. If you take meat and seafood um, here on in, in person, meat and seafood is done in a refrigerated lab. And that lab is kept at about 47 degrees, maybe 47 to 52 degrees is kind of where the fluctuation is. And um, having coats and hoodies and sweatshirts and stuff over your chef coat is, uh, is not approved, not acceptable um, for here at the, the culinary school. Any questions about uniform stuff? Okay. Um, I am, uh, so I highlighted this part of non-compliance. Other instructors feel the same way. You need to be aware of this any, any way for future in-person instruction. Uh, failure to comply with the, the uniform code, the uniform uh, requirements, you will be dismissed from class. Um, to make whatever needed change or correction. Um, you'll lose points for me if you're in person and it's, you know, as, as you've all experienced, Kathy can attest to this where the rest of y'all were online before, you know, um, you don't have your Sharpie, you'll, you'll miss a point. You don't have your thermometer, you'll miss a point. Um, things like that, I don't think we're gonna get too bent out of shape over, but, uh, you come to school for a lab and you don't have your non-slip shoes, that's a non-starter. You have to go home and get your non-slip shoes. If you lost them or you left them at uh, your boyfriend's house or girlfriend's house or, or wherever, whatever happened, you lost them, you're gonna have to go buy some new ones before uh, you can come into the lab. We assume a liability and you slip and fall, I allow you in with regular tennis shoes, you slip and fall and crack your skull, um, I would feel just as much responsible for allowing that to happen as that happened. Clear as mud. Last thing, unless there's, uh, unless there's other burning questions that I might've missed or overlooked, um, the first, first two labs, I think it is, we're easing into your cooking at home, and there are some artifacts that I ask for, um, all photographic, for you to upload after you have completed the lab. But for the remainder of the semester, and to just think ahead to get you ready for this, um, not all of this applies to the first couple of weeks, but about... I think about week four on, you'll have five assignments. Each lab is going to be the same five assignments. I want you, um, we'll talk about this more next week, and it'll make a whole lot more sense. A main component of this class, in addition to cooking methods, is learning to plate, plate presentation, building plate presentation. We, we eat with our eyes before anything else. So using a little Stephen R. Covey, if we think with the end in mind, then when you, when you look at the syllabus and you see what, uh, not only what the cooking methods are, but what ingredients we're gonna be working with, what the menu is, 
some of you will already have an idea in mind. This is what I think the plate should look like or can look like. Your first assignment is to draw it. Now, whether you're gonna use, uh, use color, you know, that's up to you. Whether you're gonna shade and all that kind of stuff, I, I don't require that. People have done, you get the full credit if you just diagram, and it may be stick figures, but my, my chicken's gonna go here kind of like this, and my, my pasta's gonna go down here like this, and my oblique honey sauteed carrots are gonna sit over here like this, and my sauce is gonna go around here like that. I want you to draw it first and you'll upload your drawing. Snap a picture of it with your phone um, and upload from there. Scan it if you're able to scan it. Most everybody just snaps a picture with their, with their phone and uploads from there because most everything else is just gonna come from your phone. The second artifact for your lab is your mise en place. I'm looking for one picture. Go back to food one, remember food one, mise en place is everything in its proper place after you have weighed and measured and cut and sliced and diced. I don't expect any of you to go out and buy special little cups or special little bowls. Use styrofoam bowls, use Dixie cups, um, I don't care what it is. I want to see clean and I want to see all of your product cut, weighed, measured, um, ready for you to assemble what, when you cook. That's your second piece of evidence for the lab. Your, uh, your drawing, your ideal plate presentation, your mise en place, a close up of your final plate. Like you're gonna put something on Instagram, um, you're gonna you're gonna Twitter space out, you're gonna the Snappy Chat Insta Speed, um, you're gonna my book or Face Space, um, whatever those pictures are, that kind of picture that you're gonna put out on your Facebook page, um, close up. Just need one picture. You don't have to take all kinds of angles. Some of your classmates have done that in the past, and it's good, and it's fine, and I'm not going to laugh at you in your face. I'll laugh at you um, uh, behind your back when we're all done and gone and the computer screen's off. Um, the fourth picture is you presenting that final plate in uniform. That's when I want to see you in uniform. And your fifth is going to be a two-paragraph We'll talk about this more in the next couple of weeks before you have to do this. One of the things, we started this in food one, had a little chat about building a, a taste vocabulary so that you can articulate, this is what I'm tasting, this is what I experience, this is how things taste to me. We'll get better and better and better at it throughout the semester, but that fifth artifact that you'll upload with each lab is going to be you, a uh, little two paragraph, um, your taste perception, your taste experience. Yes, I'm gonna push you a little bit. You may have ingredients that you've never cooked before or in a way that you've never cooked before. And I, I ask you to taste, um, encourage you to try. And then I, I really didn't like this. I'm okay. That, that, that doesn't affect your grade, good or bad. The only thing that affects your grade bad is to not do that assignment. I believe if my memory and math is correct, all of that together is 50 or 60 points for each lab. You've got some key terms. You've got a quiz. There's not a whole, there are a few things throughout the semester, but there's not a whole lot more than that. Carts are built at the end of the week for the next week. 
product is available for you to pick up at the culinary school every Monday through Wednesday. There's no guarantee that there will be product for the week on a food tube cart after Wednesday. Uh, the morning of the next Thursday is a product ID class. And the first thing they do in class is strip the old carts. Okay. So keep, keep that in mind. Um, I'm helping build carts Thursday and Friday for the next week for all of our online classes. And so um, I know there's work schedules to work around. If it is at all possible to pick up product between 8 a.m. and a little before 4 p.m. sometime Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. If that doesn't work, um, email me or text me and we can try to figure things out one-on-one. -on -one. There, there are classes that go on in the evening. So there are other instructors here. Um, I would have to talk to them. I, I, I'm not gonna volunteer them and their time. And um, I am here in class um, Tuesday evening. And so um, four of you, uh, Sand, you remember the Gold Lab. That's when I met you first, when you were taking your little tour. Kathy, of course, you had food one in the Gold Lab. Um, uh, I have food production one Tuesday nights, uh, 2.30 till 5.30, 5.30 or 6, almost all the time. If, if you need to be later than four, then if you're able to come Tuesday, you know, five or 5.30, I, I should be here to help you out. San, unmute, ask, ask your question. Um, the food for next week, we don't pick that up this week. We pick it up next week. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay, so we can start picking that up on Monday. That is correct. Okay, thanks. Now, um, I, I kept you. I kept you. I've got five, six minutes over. Um, I'm sorry, we won't take six minutes off of next week. It's just uh, I talk too much. It is what it is. Um, but I'm going to unshare my screen and just uh, reach out to you here to the void, not to the void, to uh, this uh, beautiful Motley crew. And um, do you have any further questions or concerns? Um, any other questions? Um, I did have a question. I know you're surprised. Um, no, I'm not surprised at all. all always have questions. Um, are we uh, still uploading pictures? We still upload the links the same way that we did in Food One. We don't need to upload the picture because it makes Blackboard, it like breaks Blackboard or something like that. No, upload um, upload the picture okay. directly into Blackboard. It's it's video. Um, if if I have you shoot a video, video is way too large. And it's video that's going to break Blackboard. Okay. And um, so we don't we don't want that to happen. And to be transparent and honest, um, we may get away with just one knife skills test, um, and that's coming up in the first part of the semester. And um, in the summer, um, for food two, we didn't have the other two knife skills tests. Um, and I'm okay with that. If y'all are doing really good, then I might, uh, I might just, we don't need the knife skills test. If you're not doing very good, then if you're getting lazy, then that's kind of an instructor's prerogative. Um, hey, we might have another knife skills test, but you don't see them in the course schedule, do you? Because uh, you did this in food one. So this is... Uh, Surprise. Thank you should you. already know. Yes. Hey, and, and Christy, maybe hang out for just a minute. I, I want to I wanna mention one thing to you. Um, okay. And it kind of comes from the question that you just asked. Okay. Uh, Shell. Yes, ma'am. 
Uh, my husband and I are going to be celebrating our fifth year anniversary, and we're going to be gone the tw September 22nd through the 29th. So um, I'm going to try, uh, my, well, my, I'm not going to try, my plan is to try to do everything before we leave that Wednesday the, the 22nd, and then we'll be back on the 29th. Uh, that Monday, because we're going to be in Mexico, so I don't know if I can log in, if I'm going to be able to do the Zoom. Surely, I, but I'm, I have to find, figure out what the time zone difference so is. So about the Zoom, okay? Um, because of what we do for food, too, in the Zoom, and because we have a smaller class, um, I, I, I don't want to say that it is absolutely required, although you knew this when you signed up, uh, signed up for this class. That's true, yeah. It is recorded. I think maybe all of y'all should probably be able to see in the upper left-hand corner of your screen the little, it says recording, and you got a red dot going on and off. As long as you see that red dot going on and off, everything that you see on your screen is the recording. I go, uh, I go after class and I run this through YouTube and I embed it in, uh, in Blackboard in the same way that I have you do video assignments. Okay. So, so Sam, if you're going to miss a week because you're out of the country, um, and that's a special occasion. My, my wife and I over the summer took our very first vacation together as, uh, as empty nesters. And we've been empty nesters for four years. And so it's just, I'm, I'm a workaholic, I'm a studyaholic. And I was going to a convention in Florida. She's never been further east than Nashville. And so uh, I took her to Florida and we went, uh, hey, Jasmine, lower, lower your camera. I don't wanna see your phone, your, be, be part of the class. <laughs> please. Um, I didn't log in to any of my graduate stuff saying okay. when I was in Florida okay. uh, because I'm on vacation with my wife. Okay. And so you go celebrate your, your anniversary and, and enjoy and congratulations. Thank you. Um, and then that's true for everybody. Uh, life is life. you you've got priorities. Hopefully this class is a priority, but you know, yeah, it is, you know, me, <laughs> my faith, my family mm -hmm. and food mm -hmm. are the most important things in my life. Amen. More important than you, more important mm -hmm. than this class, more important than anything else. And Amen. so um, I'm going to be a grandpa for the first time in the middle of January. Oh, if I end up being a grandpa for the first time in the middle of December, which is a possibility in our family history, then um, I'm not going to leave you stranded the week of written finals, but uh, I might be hard to get a hold of during the week of written finals because uh, I'm on my way to Idaho to see be, being a grandpa for the first time. I mean, there, there are those things. It is important that we are here as much as possible because um, – Next week is going to be more instructional. And the week after that, we start peer review. I'm going to teach you what that means and how that means. And you're going to see each other's plates. And you are going to put on um, imaginary sous chef hat. You're going to be the sous chef of the kitchen. And you're going to review those plates, what you like, what you would want to change. Um, that's going to be an integral part of this Zoom Zoom gathering. They're recorded. I, I put them up through YouTube and embed them. Um, you will see at the top of course content. Uh, I think it just says uh, recorded Zoom sessions. I mark them as week one, um, eight twenty three twenty one. If you ever want to go back and reference, what did Chef say? I was making notes, but I forgot what he said or what were we talking about. You'll get the PowerPoint, you'll get the Zoom, all that recorded stuff um, all at one time by sometime tomorrow. That'll be the case all through the semester. 
Any other questions? If something does come up, text me, email me. Um, I'll send a reminder at the end of the week about picking up product. It's probably the only one time I will send out a reminder. You're all grown ups. Um, I'm not going to chase after you. If a product has been pulled for five uh, portions and only three portions get picked up, I'm not going to cry if two of you didn't go, if didn't pick up product. Your, your lab fee provides it. Uh, people in the past, for whatever reasons, you still have to pay the lab fee. And if you're okay going to the store and picking up beef tenderloin and uh, lobster and um, trimmed ribeye and grouper and stuff like that, um, uh, fine. That's fine. This is one of those classes where um, you're going to be glad you paid your, your lab fee because you're going to spend about 50% more of it. With that, email me, text me if uh, anything else arises. I'm looking forward to this semester. Uh, this is going to be a really, really fun time that we have together. 99. Thank be you. Be careful. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.